he was sleeping? Can I have a problem with my window as well because it's very hot? Are you okay? Bad dream? Was it a bad dream? What did you dream about, Madison? Bad dream? Ugh. How long was I out? I, oh, I just need I to let some know. air in because, my God, it's getting warm. 15, 20 minutes? <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film <coughs> in a movie. Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the best before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it, didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So... All of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So is it. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well. First rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around, or want to peek behind the curtain? Hmm. I do want to uh, know more about Augustine. So, I'm gonna be a little bit cheeky, and we're gonna look around. What are you waiting for? <laughs> oh, now this is a real bold statement kind of room, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, Stan, just Augustine, stop gash, talking, like man. This kind of gash. Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a rocket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills if I were you. But rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. <laughs> Can be mute Stan in the settings. Mm, how do you know about Murder Mill? Tell me about Augustine. Tell me about Augustine. I'm more interested in okay. Augustine at this point. Then tell me everything you know about Augustine. <laughs> Augustine Lieber, a lead collector of obscure cultural artifacts. She pretends to be all business, but plays a long game with the cards close to the vest. She's hard to pin down. And? Mm. Ever since I arrived, I've kept my eye on things. Observations, behavior, decor. I've been building a profile. Which is? Lieber is no ordinary collector. She likes the dark stuff. The really dark stuff. She'll stop at nothing to get it. Very impressive. Okay. Now it's your turn. My turn for what? Told you what I know, and now you go. 
I think you pretty much covered it. Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Hmm. I do want to see if she has any collectibles. Would make an Damn, Linda, you run fast. You run faster than anyone else in the uh, who I've played so far, anyway. Very nice tree. Very nice tree indeed. I Bro, outfit, by the way. Linda's on the Olympic team for sprinting. Well, the shoes are oh. Italian, and a belt. I got a cheat from a guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy, so I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had him tailored huh. just right by the. Uh, I don't know what I did. Curious sound. Which is like a super limited VIP club edition. <laughs> but you want to know a secret? Sure. Oh, yo, skull merchant. Right? Don't tell me. Well, hello. It's I googled like a spoiler for my own sake. Oh. House. Yeah, I'd say this goes a little beyond your typical security. What do you mean? I get the sense our host just has a lot of valuable property and likes to be keenly aware of everyone. I feel like that's a normal security uh, system. Yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. Hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? <gasps> was her mom's name Chris? Both, or was it Bonnie Rivera? Oh! <gasps> yeah, it... How did you know that? Oh! It... Bonnie is the mother of Madison! Like did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime? I, um... I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Maddie, that's... It's quite sad. Very... touching. Oh, Stan, just shut up. Stan, just shut up. What about you, though, Stan? I want to know who your parents are now. And what about you, Stan? Where'd you get your piece of the film? Well, now, that is a very good question. Mm. Oh, did I ruin my relationship with Maddie? No. What's your price? You know what? I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. That was the fakest Stan ever, that thing Stan ever said. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why Stan, like, cool pitched in that. Oh, Hillbilly, again. Missing a piece, though. Yeah, he's missing his, um, hammer. Wow. Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Won't describe it as beautiful. Sensational. The true story of Frank Stone. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. All right, Linda. The Ash. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of law dump there, but you know. I'll turn the pages so if people want to pause and read it, they can. Yeah? Now what would you do if it was you here instead of me? Looks like it opens no with a way. key. The ones in the bottom of... Looking for a way out. The ones... Oh, the gates. The ones in the bottom of the plagues map. No way. I don't think they're the, they're the same gates as the plagues map. Can't be easy meeting someone from her mom's... I will check on Maddie in a second. Oh, it was just a trinket case. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything. Hey, Maddie, are you okay? You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm, uh, no, I 
I wasn't... I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I've just felt so, like, empty since she died. Like I'm sleepwalking through a nightmare and I just can't seem to wake up. It never gets easier when you lose someone. But it does become less suffocating. I hope so, because sometimes I just feel like I'm going crazy. Like, she really is out there, guiding me, trying to tell me something. That's why I came here. It felt like that's what she wanted me to do. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. Valid. She did everything she wanted to do and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like mom. Any good stories? Mm. I want to hear no I want to hear more about Bonnie. Yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Transition shot into the eyeball. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. Hell oh, yeah, Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. Bonnie's cool. There we go. Hey we got we got the relationship back up. Look. What? Oh, what is it? I don't see anything. Ah, there, right there. Oh my God! There's someone out there. Oh. I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. Is that so because we opened the camera room? Camera she could catch a mouse. Good security probably means we're pretty safe. Right, um, so do you think we should find Augustine? Give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. Oh, mystery figure. I was a bit annoyed that the relationship with Madison went down again after I did the suspicious dialogue. Because it was like, well, I found the camera room. I'm, I may as well use it because that's like a different dialogue that it's I unlocked. So long. I thought we were going to have a production meeting before. I don't think I get punished for using that up. dialogue. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. 
You find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh-huh. Oh, here we go. Right on time. Hey, right on time. Time to get cooking. What? Nothing, nothing. Just try to keep a low profile. Bonnie snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane! It's all right there! No, tell me more. I I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. <coughs> and... Yes, I had some help from my, uh, assistant. I ain't to please. <laughs> so if it tells me, uh, hi, me and him aren't gonna now get along. you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey! <laughs> wow. This is... <laughs> this is amazing. I'm... I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Cream? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. Oh. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Is there anything about Tom? We bloody loved Tom. He was great. Stone's victims are real people. Guess not. Hmm. Stone's victims were... real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? Jesus, Chris. It's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to look at their picture. And this is suddenly now a problem for you? It's not a problem. It's just a little weird. You were just, like, super gung-ho when I got here. What gives, man? Nothing. I just don't want to, like, exploit any of the victims or whatever. We're not going to exploit Stone's victims. I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make a good movie. I really don't like Chris's character. You're missing the point. You're right. Uh, no, I'm going to say I'm going to say you're missing the point. I think you're missing the point. It's not about the mill. So what's the big deal? You don't think you're like a little too excited about everything that happened there? Hi, May. If it bothers you so much, you can always stay home. Chris. Um, he's kind of number one on the call sheet. What does that mean? He's the main actor. We can't shoot without him. Yeah, I know. I was just kidding. Obviously. Obviously. Robert and I are going to look for any more locations in the mill connected to stone where we can shoot. And I'm going to go make this thing any way I have to. I really, I really don't like Chris's character. I, I'm going to be honest. I really don't like Chris's character. I don't care if the relationship with her went down. I, I feel like she was a little bit too excited about the murders. And I feel like something needed to be said. Oh, Oracle of the Omniverse, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Release your inner chakra. Here, why don't you start with these? Okay. So we're looking for Frank Stone references. Anybody who wants to read this, you can pause it. Omniverse. The Omniverse. The mill's a pretty huge place. Is that Bonnie's? Sure there's gotta be something we haven't found yet. Definitely possible. We'll find it. 
Trying to narrate here. Bunny seems like a, a bit of a stoner and I vibe with it. That's cool. Is this just my trinkets? Yeah, it's my trinkets. I feel like I miss trinkets though. Mill projections dire for fall season. It mentions Frank? No, but it goes into the mindset mm. of the workers. People Chris is the type of person to simp for at the mill? Not Ted Bundy mill, and stuff. Like yeah. Who worked there or got laid off? Damn. This was a year or two before the murder started. Oh, Tom. Does not sound like a fun place. Tom's interview. Hour shift. There are a couple articles like this. The mill was in serious decline. But if it doesn't oh. mention What did I get stuck on? No. It's all related to him, uh, to the way he was. Sure no one was sad to see it why go. he did what he did or something. That's your expert opinion? It's just a hunch. Journalists sure can't get enough of Frank Stone. Um, maybe I can play Tom's interview on the, on the, um, Frank Stone stuff. Stereo? Today too. What's that? Obituaries from around yes. the time of the murders and a little before. Oh, good thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I can remember it clear as a bell. Don't think I've ever experienced anything like that, Mac. Before or since. I don't reckon I ever will again. Heck, I don't know if I would have even made it out alive if it weren't for Sam Green. Did Tom see the entity as well? Man's a hero. Damn shame that no good sheriff's taking all the credit. Damn crying shame. He all but gave up on finding stone at the mill. Sam Green. Ain't it better? Big up, Sam. Came right up and told me we had to search every nook and cranny of that place. And it's a good job you did. Just a second longer. Well, there'd be one less beautiful baby in the world. Or worse. Sam took stone down just in the nick of time. Like something out of a movie. Thanks to Mr. Holt, nobody questioned my dad's story. Hmm. They were friends after that. My dad gave the eulogy when Mr. the whole past. Murder mill. Oh, the script and everything. The script for murder mill. No, Tom died. Well, he was a little bit old, but he got to live out his life. What about Mill in the dog? I'm sure Merlin is looked after. Understandable. Because I don't think we actually saw a Merlin after, afterwards. Her obsession with Frank Stone is intense. Should I be worried about Robert? Okay, let's... I don't I don't think the problem is Robert here. I think the fact that Chris is obsessed with Frank Stone, with Frank Stone and the murders is a little bit weird. Intense. Maybe yeah. it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but, you know, those victims could have been any of us. Mm -hmm. Our families. But they weren't. So you don't think it matters either? Still doesn't change. Matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film. Like this one. Yeah, but like... Take a look. These are still real murders. Well, that happened in this one, obviously. <laughs> I came up with a new scene to shoot. Is she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris... I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnished chamber location is perfect. <gasps> I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. We're going down to the furnace chamber. I shouldn't have wasted all this time. It's pretty rad. It's pretty rad. I hope we have time to shoot it. Thanks. Me too. Oh, yes! Huh? What is... It's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah! What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people, company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's, Let's do it. Time is money. Let's make a movie. I don't like Chris, but I do want to go back to the furnace room because I feel like we can find more stuff. Oh, Bonnie, come with us. Come with us, Bonnie. 
No! Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? I hope Bonnie gets oh. part to be, gets to be part of the crew. I like Bonnie's character. She's probably one of the more interesting characters. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the myth. Yep, there it is. There it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. Oh, there's a secret entrance. I don't see it. At least we know Bonnie lives because she's Madeline's mom. That is true. That is true. That was the Dead by Daylight theme. We don't have to do this. Yes, we do. The dun 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 dun. That was the Dead by Daylight theme. Oh, careful. First step's a doozy. This way. Okay, let's sneak into the mill. Breathe in. <laughs> Yo, the fast vault. Franks don't actually. Yeah, fast vault. Okay, two ways into the storm drain from here. One easy and one hard. They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in, but it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad, but it's also going to take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. So, which way? Mmm, I'm gonna say let's cross. I'd rather keep a little distance between us and the law. No exactly. Offense. I don't want to get in any trouble either. So, we should cross. Yeah. See, easy as pie. Wasn't that medium of difficulty, it was easy. Your dad really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Huh. I used to think it was weird, but it's just kind of his thing. Growing up, nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad. They scratch marks? Skills. No scratch marks. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. It had a cool title, though. Ooh, what was watching us? The man who drew blood from a stone. Damn. I mean, it could cool be cool title, man. Movie. Cool title. Uh, other movie? We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Uh, maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's like moonwalking. We're balancing across a beam. Good stuff, good stuff. I found you, my pretty. Chris Gordon. Another victim claimed by Frank Stone. <gasps> All by Fallen. What's in the chest? Who's that on? Tattooed middle finger. Ah, oh, it's the clown holler. It's your favorite killer. The clown? Woo! I don't have balanced landing equipped, unfortunately. Okay, I can't go that way. I thought for a moment. Oh! Hello. A little bit awkward. A little bit awkward. Made it. This place is awesome. 
So awesome. Why do I have to like do a thing to climb? Oh, <gasps> Subway Pennywise confirmed for Dead by Daylight. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure this is safe and we're not going to fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades? I can't promise you won't, but hmm. at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. <laughs> Flashlights. Yeah, one for everyone? Yep. I better have the double lenses on that. I want to be able to blind the killer. Uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars. No, don't throw the shack pellet. First aid kit, bottle opener. It's okay. They've only moved it. They've only moved it. And utensils. <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. Okay. We must be under the mill by now. Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was <gasps> here. No? The trinkets, isn't it? Ah. One time. When I was lit. Oh. He ran away. One second. I I gotta explore. Oh, <gasps> it's a wraith. Who would have left this here? It's a little wraith. Ooh, one sec. I'm not sure about Linda's new scene, but if I pull the direct, huh? It's a little key. Not sure what that key will be useful for, but we can find out. To Robert. Oh, right. I'm not sure about Linda's new scene. But if I pull the director card, she'll probably never talk to me again. I mean, we may as well shoot the scene. Oh, <laughs> looks a bit ominous when no one then. They were both just waiting for me. Sorry, I went exploring, guys. All right, Robert, oh, so lead the way. I was say, when I was little, and he was really drunk. Keep going. Even though he doesn't remember, I kind of like knowing what he went through. I get that. He didn't talk to me like a little kid or like my dad. I got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. One sec. Fucked up his shoulder that night. Sorry, I know you're talking about something serious, but I need to go exploring. I need to go exploring. Is something jump scares me now? I swear to God. Damn. I didn't know it was so intense. There's nothing here? What do you mean there's nothing here? I came exploring for nothing. Anything over here? Nope, nothing here either. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, the door. Never mind. It's a whole section that had absolutely nothing. What a shame. Maybe I don't. Maybe I already went that direction with <clears throat> Sam. Um, so I was gonna say, he told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face right here in the mill, the furnace chamber, actually. Oh shit! What else did he tell you? Just that. He 
saw things no man should ever see or know. He what saw the that? entity. Every time I've ever brought it up, he gets that look in his eye. And I just don't want to see him like that. Hmm. You sound disappointed. No. No. But I'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad. I think this is it. Up oh. there. Oh? Okay. Wait, does this not bring us out to the exit? I thought we were going to the furnace room. Yeah, this is where we pops the grate open. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people! No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. Oh, yeah, baby. There is like kind of like claw marks going up that silo. I wonder if that's like remnants from the entity. Oh, we're going to awaken something. I can tell you that. And cut. How was that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murderville. Way to go. Everybody! Yippee! <clears throat> oh, uh, we still have one more scene. Let's go down to the furnace uh, room. I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Ah, uh, right. Yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on. With our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? The furnace room. I do have a place in mind, actually. Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. Let's go to the furnace chamber. I know it's a terrible idea, but I really want to go to the furnace chamber. Huh? Yo. You coming? Uh, yeah. Be right there. <laughs> I just really want to go to the something? furnace chamber. No, it was nothing. You sure? We Same definitely, kind of we definitely seen something. What's up? Nothing. Nothing, right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ah, oh, it's Bonnie. Gotcha. Not cool, Bonnie. Disagree. Not cool. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. Jaime. Uh, um, Bonnie, I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know, a and, uh... And that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh, no, 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 I mean, that, uh, <clears throat> Linda? Bonnie's gotta do what Bonnie's gotta do. I don't care if she tags along. Um, Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do. I get the feeling Bonnie's going to do what Bonnie's going to do, no matter what we say. And that's that. Well, okay. Are we just going to stand around or are we going to make a movie? Time is money, right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. See, this is why I hate Chris. 
Bonnie's the coolest character out of the cast, and Chris is like, I don't want her on my set. Even though Bonnie's literally the reason we have a new camera. She's the one that gave us the 20 bucks. Let her on the set, man. Um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, guys, you're forming a bit of a circle around me. Let's get into that furnace room, shall we? You okay? No, yeah. It's just... This is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. I always had a mental picture of it, but now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes, I don't know, it's different. Oh, <gasps> plunderers! Yes! I get collectibles! But I cannot yet get across. God damn it. I'm being stopped. Can I not get across at all? Oh, the item's right there, but I can't get to it. What a shame. I'm coming, I'm coming. Talk to Chris. Chris! Here's what we're gonna do. Hi, May Chris. You start here. Robert and I will follow. Uh, Bonnie, j just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Lights ready. Sound speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set. And action. Is there something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. You know that's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you too. Now who's being unfair? At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. And cut. Linda, that was sick. Did oh, they not did like they not hear the weird sound in the background? It was great, thanks. Did you hear that weird groan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh no, but don't sweat it. We're gonna replace the sound in Jaime's anyway. It was like how'd I do? You were good. It was perfect. Jaime, it was perfect. You the extra so? scene that we needed. we needed the scene to do. There it is again. You okay? Yeah. Uh, something about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay, that's not what I sounded like. I don't know. It was pretty spot on. Gotta agree. Gotta Scary. Agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. Hot <laughs> damn, kids. That was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Seriously. I'm impressed. Awkward silence? <laughs> but, uh, what was that awkward silence? What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um, the deep voice. What was I doing? Just playing out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. I don't understand. 
Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents? Definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. We're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? Don't throw the lines back at me. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? I liked it better when you were gone. Fighting, family arguments. That's hell a bit out of nowhere, but hey, I'm gonna go and get some air. I want to come outside, Bonnie. Yeah, come on, Bonnie. Let's go and have a nice hey, chat. Uh, Bonnie, you want to come outside with me for a minute? I could use your help with something. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I want to get to know Bonnie more. I think she's one of the more interesting characters out of the cast. Although the, leaving the rest of them in the furnace room probably wasn't the best idea. So, I, I just wanted to tell you uh, how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me also. <laughs> you know what I mean. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So, I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but we're still gonna have to sell people on this thing. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get, like, one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone, like anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. We should look for that place from the newspaper article, the machine shop. Uh... Hey, Chris. Raise the camera. Holy... What can you see? Something freaky. I don't know if I can describe it. I'll try shooting a little. Can I move the camera? Oh, there we go. What's that? Camera needs cranking. Hold on. <sighs> that did it. Okay, let me get more. Maybe if I try and get? Whoa! Ain't that something. <sighs> Whatever the hell that was, it's gonna look great in the movie. door will take us to the machine shop only one way to find out well, let's go take a look also it might just be me but did you notice how bonnie and um linda were the only ones to exit the building and they're the only ones that are confirmed to be alive in the future I'm not saying anything's going to happen to the rest of our characters, but I just think that's a little bit odd to split the characters up like that. Because we know Linda and um, Bonnie are going to make it out, but the rest of these characters are alone. So, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Kill me if you knew I was in here right now. Madison said she never met Jaime. Exactly. All bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Then he's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. I mean, he always has. Where is it? Oh, it's up there, isn't it? Remember, I didn't even know it was weird until I got old enough to realize all the long walks he liked to take in the middle of the night were in the abandoned still mill where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Maybe it... <laughs> it's clown, Holly. Why it's is clown. It always clown. Did you hear it? It did the ha ha ha. Dead end. 
Not this way. Uh, yeah, so maybe that's why he comes back to the scene of the crime. Hmm. Maybe it helps him somehow. Honestly, I don't even think he wants to be helped. Oh, I got the key before. Hmm, this is why we explore. Although I don't know if exploring do into the darkness is better. It's more like an obsession. And it's gotten pretty weird. Uh, okay, elaborate on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or the guilt or whatever, but he sort of started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional. Oh. Like acupuncture with all the pins? No, no. Wait, you don't mean like occult stuff? Well, I shouldn't have said that. Well, you did. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter. That's it. Sure. Squeeze through. Honestly, I think Chris is going to be the first one to be axed off. I think she's at a very high risk of death. Oh, oh, don't fall, don't fall. Not until I get the collectible, at least. There we go. We set the ladder. Um, and then we go down there and pull those things out. And then we'll be able to do we'll be able to do what we need to. We'll be able to get to the other side and collect the collectible. This bit reminds me of Resident Evil. You know the library section in Resident Evil when you have to like pull out the uh, bookcases? It reminds me of that. Will we be able to jump that or? Only one way to find out really, isn't there? I reckon we can jump it. It doesn't seem like that far of a gap. Jump! 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 She has a really goofy jump. Oh, um... Oh? Okay. That was a bit of an odd... Uh, bug. When are we gonna see Bonnie loop Frank Stone and teabag him? <laughs> iridescent hatchet? It's gonna be Iridescent hatchet, isn't it? They didn't even tell me? It looked like the iridescent hatchet for a hunter or so. It didn't tell me though, like it, it told me what the other add-ons were. It didn't tell me that one. Um, right. Was that literally all a side plot just to get that one add-on? Oh my god, it was. Damn. You really need to go out of your way to get those collectibles. Wait a second. Guys, this is it. This is the machine shop. Holy crap. It is. Man, Chris, you really know how to find the coolest stuff. I wouldn't be so excited about this. Let's look around and see what we can find. Yes. Yeah. You really think we're going to find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss, though. Look at that. The train? Yeah. Yeah, in the article, it's a skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system and that one still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah, good point. I doubt there's any bodies in there. There's no harm in looking though, right? Oh, I don't like this there. actually. Let's find a way. Come on. I don't like this one bit. Hmm. Gotta be a way to get up there. Even Jaime's like, I don't know about this one, Chief. 
Gotta find a way to get up there. It should open the door, right? It doesn't, because uh, the electricity is out, which means we follow the wires, which leads her down here. Probably doesn't lead down here, but I can definitely do something here. Like getting on the other side. Gens. Oh, I didn't even think about that. I gotta do the generators, bro. See what Robert has found? Hold on. Oh, no way. No way, bro. It's an actual generator. Robert, my man. Okay. Looks like, yeah. Let's repair it. Hopefully, uh, hopefully the killer doesn't have pain res. Hopefully the killer hey, does not have I pain res. Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Oh, uh, well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I'm like a huge horror guy, too. I hopefully Robert has proved start. myself. <laughs> it's not... That, that, that wasn't, um... Wasn't what? We're making a horror movie, yeah, but like... I don't know. The point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Were these guys originally like, friends? Just us. So... I'm just in the way. Ooh, spending a lot of time with my girlfriend. I just want a few minutes alone with Chris. All right, look, the truth is all night, I've been trying to get a few minutes alone to talk to Chris and it hasn't been easy. You're annoyed that Chris doesn't want to run off and make out with you in the lair of the man who nearly made me an orphan. That's not what I said. It's not my fault. She's more focused on her work than you, man. Give me a break. I knew these guys wouldn't get on. We found a generator. Uh, so that door over there needs power for it to open. Generator working? Nah, unfortunately it's toast. I can get it working. Just need to scrounge up a few parts and it'll be good as new. Then let's go scrounging. We know he has deja vu because he found the gen, yeah. He found the free gen. <laughs> Oh, but we gotta get parts to repair the generator. This isn't dead by daylight. <laughs> this might work for the generator. Do you reckon they're gonna add parts in Dead by Daylight now where you have to collect the parts to repair the generator first? <laughs> He's getting a toolbox, idiot. Ah. Uh, understandable, understandable. But where is the other part? Ah, a fuse. Oh, it looks like a fuse. Could be. I don't know if it is. But it looks like one. All right, let's go and repair a generator. Time to gem rush this killer, baby. Wait. I'm locked. Ah, dang it. I don't have a key. I've been stopped by a simple padlock. Gosh dang it. Okay, let's repair the generator. Um, while holding left click to repair the generator, skill checks will appear. We know this. We know this. Come on. Damn, that's faster than a normal generator. Yo, what sort of perks do you have on? Is that hyper focus with stakeout? With prove myself? With deja vu? That's a crazy gem rush meta, bro. Get ready to hit your skill checks, brother. I don't miss a skill check. A thousand hours in Dead by Daylight? Please, I don't miss skill checks. That's a fast gen, though. I can't hit these grates. Told you, bro. He's got a toolbox. Commodious toolbox with uh, a swivel. And uh, the, the, the one that gives you extra charges. Oh, that was a grate! I hit the grate. I did not hit a grate that time. But we got the gen working. Hey, 
Nice. That's a really fat. That was a really fast gen. Unrealistic. Unrealistic. A generator at least takes two minutes to do. That was barely 30 seconds. Very unrealistic generator. Maybe there's something useful in there. Maybe. But I gotta get in there. Whack! Yippee! Oh, yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. This is it, baby. Collectibles galore. Okay. So already we kind of it's kind of obvious what we do here. There we go. Maybe there's another way in there. I'm just gonna have a quick scan, see if uh there's anything I can collect. Did you say it was locked? Yeah, it is unfortunately locked. Okay, that's fine. I have a bit of a feeling there's going to be a key on the other side. So glad the game highlights stuff. Because I would not be able to see the auras. Oh, without the auras? Yeah. I figured out how the plunderers thing works as well. It seems like I have to be near a collectible for the plunderers uh, thing to work. Crawling through the roof ducts like a raccoon. You gotta admit this is fun. Adventure. Okay. What have we here? It's a toolbox. Or it's just a box with all my trinkets in, right? Yep. I just wanted to see see though. Does it let me interact with them? Oh no, never mind. I was gonna pick up the hatchet one and make sure it was an eerie hatchet, because it looks like it, but he never actually told me whether it was an eerie hatchet. Maybe this key will open up the box car. It will in fact open up the box car. I know because I saw a lock on it. Hello, Chris. Find anything? Yep. I got the key. Got a label on it. F stone. Holy shit. Frank Stone. Oh. This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. Oh man. Oh man. Oh geez, Scoob. I don't like this. Let's see if the key unlocks the box car. Alright. Use the item. Open sesame. What have we got? I thought there was going to be a jump scare then. Just the way it was framed, I was like, damn, that's a jump scare if I've ever seen one. It was not a jump scare though. I just feel like we're not making it out alive here. Could you guys not have... Gotten up this without having to open up the box car. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. The jump animation's a bit weird. They kind of just lunge forward. Oh well that's a bit of a bit of a jump. Uh I'm gonna go first. I'll go first. Because I feel like it only should really um it feels like it's only going to support one person. If it's that easy. Oh, save him. Thanks, man. That would not have been a pleasant way to go. Nope, no it would not. I wanted to break it to your dad. That would be an even more unpleasant way to go. <laughs> Yo, check it. Wow. Right through the wall. It looks like head-on animation. <laughs> is that a hand? What the fuck? Oh shit! Damn. Is is that a? Yeah. And it's got friends. Oh. Oh. Oh no no no. This is insane. Check next time you jump. It does seem like a head, on, like kind of head-on animation. Must have come loose when the freight broke through. Okay, so we got a hand. Lovely. Notebook. Who are these other people?
Do these not seem like weapons for certain killers? Like, I was thinking one of those knives kind of like Legion's knife. Mm. I'm probably just overthinking the references, aren't I? Billy's hammer? That's what I was thinking. It kind of seemed like other killers' weapons. Ooh. What do we have here? Oh, do I want to wipe it? Oh. What is it? It's a head. Damn. I think she was one of Stone's victims. Never found her. They never found her. I mean, we found her. The police ever found this place. How do you know that? Because they went and just left all this stuff here. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad now. No. What? No. This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit. No. You can't get the sheriff now. I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. Robert, back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris, I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. It's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. Ah, they don't know about the evidence. But the movie? The movie's done. Robert's right. You should get the sheriff. We got what we need. Go. Just don't touch anything else, okay? Can't promise that because I did see another collectible in the corner. I didn't get to check out. We should get the hell out of here. Just one thing. Just one thing. Just what? There was one more piece of evidence over here. That I just, I just needed to see it. I guess the cops never connected Frank Stone to this. Son and friend murdered, say police. Okay, that's all I wanted to check. Bro, Robert got hatch. Oh my god, yeah. He brought a red key. He got the hatch, bro. Okay, we should we should go as well, I think. We gotta go. She took it with her? Maybe we should wait outside until Robert comes back. Is moving that such a good idea? Uh, do you think moving that's such a good idea? No way I'm not getting a shot of this thing. Yeah, but it's like evidence. Nobody can prove we knew that before we got the shot. Plausible deniability, man. I don't think that's what that means. Well, I won't tell if you don't. I think you're missing the point. This is the point. You've been, like, obsessed with making this movie all about Frank Stone ever since you heard about him. She has. She has. It doesn't feel like it's our movie anymore. It feels like it's your movie. We're making this movie together. It doesn't feel like we're doing much together at all lately. Hmm. Not just the two of us. Hi, May. Every just the two around, of us. There you are with Robert. I can't seem to get a second one. We're alone now. Yeah. And all I can think about is you and Robert. Uh, you asked Linda to work on the movie with us. We needed help. And she's my friend. I wanted you guys to get to know each other. Well, sometimes it feels like I'm being ganged up on. That's not true. We're not ganging up on you. It's how I feel. Yeah, but it's not true. You don't get to tell me how I feel, man. Let's... I started going out with you because you were really fun. And making this movie was really fun. But... This? This isn't very fun anymore. So, what are you saying? I'm saying if we're not having fun anymore, maybe we shouldn't be in a relationship anymore. Relationship drama. Hmm. I'm not changing my mind. I don't really like Chris, I'll be honest. Less of a question and more of a statement. Well, not gonna be able to change your mind, am I? Probably not. And that's it, huh? So we're breaking up? Yep. I I've got to get this shot. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah.
feel like we probably should have left when we could. Because again, Bonnie and Linda left, but we don't know what will happen with these characters. Oh. Could it be the camera that, uh, camera that activated it? Because that old lady that was actually Augustine did give it us. This looks dope, I won't lie. This is definitely interesting, but this doesn't remind me of the entity. Entity shadowy, right? This is different. This is like... When Dead by Daylight had its Halloween event, and it had that void place. This is more like the void colors than the, than the entity. What is it? Just had to take a screenshot. <laughs> Just got a couple of screenshots in there. just dead i didn't think i'd get one shot